Hey everyone, my name is Troy from Tech Games Etc. And today I was wondering, I was pondering, I was sitting on my bed and I was like, if the if the PlayStation 4 came out at two, $250, it could work. It could definitely work. See, I was I was thinking about 300, right? But if they dropped it to 250, 250 and and make it at least I say 120 gigabytes. At least 120 gigabytes. It can definitely work. Now let me just read off quickly why I think it will work. And I'll go back into explaining it if you want to stay around for that. But let's just go ahead and just make this video real quick for y'all. This is why it will work. It'll create buzz. Sony will become the market leader for the next gen or have a good head start. It will be the death nail to Nintendo. Xbox would have to follow. Technology hasn't changed enough for a graphical difference to be affordable to customers anyway. So, you know, more money left to buy more games, accessories, and also it can, and can compete against any other competitors as well. Like when I say that, I mean like, isn't there another console coming out from Steam or Valve? I forgot the company behind it. Cause I know what Steam is, I know what Valve is, I don't know if Steam owns, but I, I get that mixed up a little bit. But isn't there another, like a PC console coming out? Again, it will compete with that one as well. Now, let's just go through and explain some things. Creating buzz. Do you, do you honestly think this would create buzz? Will it, will it like bring down the value of wanting this console even less? If they say, oh, this is next gen starting at $250, 120 gigabytes. Whoa. Would there be a backlash of people questioning, well, what is it really next gen if it's at that price? I believe if the PlayStation 4 came out at $250, it would create the biggest buzz. It, GameStop can't even hold it. Amazon can't hold as much merchandise at that price. Come on, why not? That, that would be like a no-brainer, but we'll see. Also, like I said, it will give Sony a nice head start. I don't know how many uh, Wii U sold, but it will give them a nice head start to be the market leader, to create enough buzz. If they have an, a, a good launch titles better than the Wii U that caters to particular age groups, not just adults, but children as well, I don't see why not. If they bring out some of their... First party titles like a Jack and Daxter, Ratchet and Clank to cater to, you know, adults and children as well, or uh, anything um, like a their Kill Zone, of course, to cater to other people. Why not go for it? Why not? It will, it will, it will create. You will get a great, a great head start, especially if Xbox. If Xbox doesn't, and if the Xbox comes out later, now if it comes out the same day, okay, you, you're going to have a little issues there. But, you know, I would think you would be the market leader much faster if you come at a price where almost a majority of people can afford. Because I believe it's going to be broken down into two categories. People who really want it and the people who are going to actually say, okay, let's wait until the price drops. If you come at 250, both of those categories are going to be like, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Why not? This will be the death nail to Nintendo. Wow. Uh, Wii U is struggling. Am I right or wrong? Wii U is struggling right now. I mean, for games, probably. I think it was mostly because of games, right? So if the Wii U is struggling... Wouldn't this be the death nail like we you you can't even compete right now? You can't even you can't even come close right now to the PlayStation uh, 4. That's that's I, I, I think will be the death nail. If they're already struggling, this would be like the 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 nail the nail in the coffin right here. The Wii U will have to come out with something serious because right now it just can't be just their first party titles. 
They have to rely on more developers, more developers outside of theirs to actually compete. And I see that as the death knell. Like, Nintendo will not be... I don't think Nintendo is relevant. I never believed it. But they'll make it even more irrelevant. More irrelevant. Also, it will give... Xbox will have to follow this price. Xbox will have to follow this price. If they don't follow this price, they can't compete. They can't have a next-gen price of $500, $600. If you go on the GameStop and say, well, which one is available? Oh, we have a PlayStation 4 for $250, or we have a PlayStation, or we have an Xbox 720 for uh, $300. Who, what would you go with? Exactly. So Xbox would have to follow this. Bad. Like, super bad. They have to follow this. Uh, the, the main reason why I say this, like I said before, I don't believe technology has changed enough that we will see a graphical difference. Because me personally, I'm still on the fence whether I need to, if my channel can survive without buying a PlayStation 4 immediately, because I don't believe graphically it's going to be any different. Now, people who know PCs, people who know where technology, I believe technology is there for PCs. But as far as console goes, to make it more affordable to customers and see a graphical difference from last gen, I don't think it's there. I don't think it's there at all. So why, why should I pay $600 for something that may only look the same slightly? Slightly. And that's, that was the point I was trying to make in my other video. Why? That's just pretty much it. <laughs> So, what else? More money left. Uh, more money left to buy more games and accessories. I think this is by far like. I don't think PlayStation makes. I mean, Sony makes money off of consoles. I don't think Xbox makes money off of consoles. I don't think Nintendo makes money off of consoles. I think their bread and butter comes with software software sales so if you have more more consoles in circulation you're going to make more money off of what matters the most it's the software not the hardware that's that's just pretty much it like i don't see why why they wouldn't go after this price at least two two hundred fifty dollars two hundred fifty dollars i know will probably never happen but if it came at this price you would get for the next 10 years, I guarantee you they'll be the market leader. As long as they have the games and the features and interact with the community, it's, it's done. Now, as far as that new PC console that's rumored to coming out, I don't know the specs of this. I don't know if it will be a difference, but of how it is going to function, I forgot what... Did they already name it already? But for it to compete with this, I think this price will be really good. I think this price would be very good. But there you go. That was just a quick video about why, why I think the PS4 can survive at two, uh, that can work at $250. But I highly doubt that will. It will come out. But let me know, community, what do you think? What do you think the price of the PlayStation 4 should be to be competitive for you to buy it day one? And uh, let me know in the comment section below. And if you like what you saw today, Please like the video and subscribe to my channel. It really helps out a lot. And there go all my contact information. See you later. Thanks a lot.